In a short course triathlon, it, the run hurts. I mean, my heart rate from the opening gun doesn't go under 175. Sixty to sixty-five minutes at, you know, one eighty. So you're redlining pretty. Good. And that's when you really need to have a, your mental game pretty strong. <laughs> I was born with a, it's called fibular hemomelia. Basically, you're born with either part or your entire fibula. It's not your shin bone, but it's a weight-bearing bone. I was amputated at 11 months, and then I had my first prosthetic in 12 months. I had a really close family. I have five boy cousins that are like all within a couple years. So I got pushed around, and my goal basically was just to keep up with with them as much as possible. And I was never treated differently. Like they, they didn't baby me, they didn't. If, if I fell over or something happened with my leg, it was just leave him, let him, he'll figure it out. He gets, he'll get up. But yeah, my family's definitely been my biggest proponent. At elevation, there'll be days where I actually physically can't get my leg on. <laughs> or I blow out a liner Exhibit A, because if I swell like a couple millimeters, I basically, I really can't get my leg on. It'll be extremely tight. I can't necessarily answer why sports, because it's really just been the way I've been my whole life. It was a different challenge for me. I was definitely not an aerobic athlete, but I definitely could swim, bike, and run. When I was introduced to the sport, coincidentally, I was put into the Paralympics around the exact same time. And I went and started doing a couple races and won the national championship in like my second race. And I, you know, I had success pretty quickly. I kind of fell in love with the sport. To get to the top of anything, it's there, you have to have a lot of self drive that goes above and beyond. I don't have far to look when it comes to someone that works really hard and has gone above and beyond in order to make her dreams happen. Really hard to like go after a, a medal, you know, your brain is trying to wrap your head around something that's five years away it is pretty, pretty taxi. She just gets up and grinds like I've never known anyone to push as hard as she has. My immediate goal is to win a gold medal in, in Tokyo, like that's, that's what my, where my energy is being focused. I'm Jamie Brown, and this is how I rise.